Welcome to Shabbat Shoutout. A Touch of Class was a popular film in 1973. In real life, what does a Torah Touch of Class look like? The residents of Ezra's Torah in Jerusalem were once disturbed by a stranger who was deliberately disrupting their peace and calm on Shabbos. Week after week, the same car would appear on the streets of the fervently observant Orthodox community, driving around in circles only to disturb the Shabbos observant residents. Some of the people began protesting loudly at the provocation, shouting at the driver to leave them alone and to let them enjoy their Shabbos in peace. Rabbi Herschel Zaks, a prominent resident of the Ezra's Torah community, was equally disturbed by the Chil Shabbos, but decided to take a different approach. When the car next appeared on Shabbos, Rabbi Zaks memorized its license plate. After Shabbos, he was able to use the number to find out the man's address, which was in the neighborhood of Ramot. Along with a companion, Rabbi Zaks traveled to Ramot and knocked on the man's door at his home. The door was opened by a little boy who looked the visitors up and down and then called over his shoulder, Hashchorim Higil, the black ones are here, a derogatory reference to the black modest clothing the Rabbi Zaks and his companion wore. And to add additional insult, from somewhere within the apartment, the father called out, give them a shekel. A shekel is the equivalent of about a quarter. We aren't here for the money, Rabbi Zax told the child. We'd like to speak with your father. What do you say to a man who deliberately drives his car on Shabbos in a religious neighborhood? What would you say? What do you say to a man who deliberately drives his car in a religious neighborhood on Shabbos? What are you saying? What would you say? Would you have even gone to the man's house in the first place? What was it that Rabbi Zach said? Despite the insults in the man's confrontational manner, Rabbi Zach gently explained that the Jews of Ezra's Torah were pained by the appearance of a car driving on their streets on Shabbos. Stunned by the rabbi's reasonable, gentle approach, the man said, you're crazy, but you're right. I was mistaken with what I did. I won't drive on your streets. There is a nice postscript to the story. A year and a half later, Rabbi Zaks received an invitation to a bar mitzvah in Ramot. When he arrived at the Simcha, the family of the bar mitzvah boy asked him, Rabbi, do you recognize me? Rabbi Zaks said that he did not. About two years ago, you came to my door, the father said, to ask me not to drive in the neighborhood of Ezra's Torah. Today, the man said, I have become Shomer Shabbos because despite my provocative, unreasonable actions, you cared enough to come to see me and to gently explain why what I was doing was wrong. I sent my child to a religious school because I wanted him to learn how to emulate you. You took the time and the effort to explain yourself to me without berating me. The Torah teaches that Kedusha, holiness, is attained through a sense of dignity. We're commanded to bring honor to the Almighty and to develop ourselves into holy people. However, we aren't meant to be motivated by fear of punishment or by divorcing ourselves from the physical world or even because of reward we might obtain in the afterlife. Rather, we're obligated to train ourselves to feel that emanating from a deep sense of responsibility as the ambassadors of Hashem were too noble and respectable to speak or act in a dishonest and crass fashion. Our neshamas, our souls, are too precious for such behavior. It's beneath our dignity to desecrate the name of God. And if this is the guiding principle of our actions, then we'll be elevated in countless ways approaching the level of Rabbi Zach's in this story. Tasked with the formidable responsibility of being the Almighty's representatives here on earth, we are princes and princesses. And if we think of ourselves as royalty with deep responsibilities, if we always remember who we represent, 
then we'll act accordingly. And that is what a Torah touch of class looks like. Good Shabbos.